Hey yeah, mermaids and dragons, additional tweaks for Corsair and Draconia have arrived this week and we are going to start off with the changes to Awakening Corsair. Our Q grab, the hot catcher for Traka, now has debuffs applied further away when grabbing monsters it seems, though I'm not entirely sure what those debuffs are at the moment, and I'm pleased to announce that our grab was apparently not applying the bound effect before, and it should now be applied properly. Shift F, our anchor drop has increased PvE damage overall of about 11%, and its follow-up skill, Ceasefire, has also gotten a PvE damage increase of about 4%. Welcome damage increases for us, so you should see a minor bump in TL. Going over to Succession, Prime Wave Pout now has more range. Riding Waves now has a PvE iframe, though this means that you can also use this in Awakening as well. Prime Open Fire has gotten combo improvements for After the Storm, and you can also now iframe from it as well. Prime Wave Flash now combos faster with Prime Storming Gale, allowing for a quicker AP buff upkeep. Flow Tides Kiss is now able to have add-ons applied, and and that's it for the Corsair changes. On to Draconia, first off, Succession sees PvP damage nerfs across the board for a majority of her skills. Prime Ringbolt Strike, Blazing Strike, Sundering Claw all see significant PvP damage nerfs. Mark Tonan's Flourish does see major PvE buffs to his damage, however as does Prime Rainbow Rays, Skewer, and Embers. Your iframe in succession now no longer has the long linger it used to, a nerf to your survivability for sure, and your e-buff no longer stockpiles ions, yet another nerf to your overall already nerfed beyond all recognition damage. Mokhtanen's skill, your get out of jail free card, also no longer has any more charged ions as well. This reminds me of Sage and Corsair's nerfs after release, and it seems that going forward, whether it was intentional or not, releasing broken classes and then nerfing them to the ground to facilitated class rerolls seems to be a permanent strategy for Pururbis. Anyway, Awakening sees Fate Beckons recover willpower on hits, so it's a good plus 150 willpower right there for those without an infinite mana pot. Hexblood Crackling Flame has also gotten a range increase thus far. Overall, some minor PvE buffs for Corsair, while Dracania sees its turn to get nerfed to the ground, much like Corsair and Sage before her. Anyway, that's about it for today's changes. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoy what you see, please do consider dropping a like or up with that, take care and goodbye.